chapter 2. My brother and I were handcuffed together. Me being charged with two counts of assault with intent to kill. Him with gun possession and riding in a stolen vehicle. We kept a bevy of stolen cars strategically parked around the city. Each car had a full gas can in the back seat, 10 to 15 loose bullets under the seats covered by the mats, and a gun stashed in it. This way, we didn't need to go across town to get a stolen car to use whenever we needed to put the guns to work. Then we would put the car on fire and disappear. The loose bullets would detonate and keep the fire department from dousing the flames. He got caught getting into one of them. We were placed in a holding cell for juveniles. While in the cell, they were calling the kids' names to go to court or juvenile prison for their different infractions. And they called my brother also. We shook hands and hugged. See you later. Bundy and Dodo were called right after him. They were all being sent to the juvenile prison Oak Hill, located in Laurel, Maryland. I was hoping that we could be at the prison together, but they never called my name. I stayed in that cold cell by myself for another six hours staring at the white walls. But somehow they felt familiar. Somehow they felt like my bedroom at my house, where I used to sometimes sit in and draw whenever I got bored. But now my freedom was gone, so I yearned for some art supplies. My peace was broken, so I yearned for a loaded pistol. I kicked on the door continuously until someone came. Two hours later, hey, am I going with my brother? No, you're not going to juvenile. You're being charged as an adult. I didn't really understand what that meant. I was like, cool. So when do they transfer me to Oak Hill? You're not going to Oak Hill, young man. You're in the big leagues now. You're going to DC jail. You wanted a bike, so now you have to pedal. I still didn't fully understand. I heard of DC jail being a horrible place, but I never heard of juveniles being held there. I started thinking that he didn't know what he was talking about. Maybe he meant the juvenile prison seat in all or Oak Hill where the others were headed. Fuck it, let's go. Once I went to court, I saw the faces of the people in the courtroom and I knew I was in a little bit of trouble. Bigger than what I was first thinking. These people wore tailored suits and looked like experienced detectives and federal agents. Damn. I wonder what they doing in here. Probably for somebody else. I thought to myself. They read my case off and I sounded extremely notorious even to myself. Detectives were coming in and describing me as a menace and a very dangerous person. I was being described as one of the biggest threats to law enforcement, responsible for countless shootings, major drug trafficking, and being a teenage gang leader. I looked around the courtroom confused. Me? You sure?